here at AirVenture. It's opening day. The skies are wonderful, and there's some bright new stuff to look at here. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with Darren Hart and Scott Hayes, and you two have teamed up here in an unusual way that uh, no one was really expecting. So how'd that come about, Darren? How'd you end up with this funny-looking engine on the front of your airplane? <laughs> it's the Lone Star State, and you know, we were all Texans. so We all uh, stick together. <laughs> So, and we're 80 miles apart, so why not? Ah, that helps. So that makes things a lot easier working with an engine manufacturer and, you know, for us, so they can come over and the engineers come over and we can work out these solutions so we can have a great insulation and, and uh, work out all those fine details. Well, I'm sure that's good for the, for the engine manufacturer too, Scott, to that's be nice. able to work with an airframer uh, and one who's got a lot of experience with different kinds of engines. You've done several different engines, so you're teaming up with a good company, as I can see. How's that working out for you, Scott? It's working out excellent. Their product is second to none. They don't leave any detail undone, so it's a great to partner with these guys. Now, you just, uh, I'm sure you just kind of bolted this one on for show and whatnot. Tell us about what you expect in the future as far as this collaboration. We actually try to get as close to what we think the final install will be. We really wanted to make sure that, you know, we get the airflow that we needed over the radiator itself. Our oil pockets in the back where it needs to be. Okay. We may not run the oil lines in this particular configuration, but it's going to be relatively close to this. Okay, so it's a, as best you know right now, anyway, it's a pretty near, near to final installation. Did yes. you have to? Will you have to do anything with cowlings and so forth to accommodate this, Darren? No, we won't. When you uh, look at our airplane, you won't know what's underneath the cowling. Is that right? Yeah, we're going to keep exactly the same cowling, the Super Legend cowling on there. So, but when you pop up the the lid on there to look at it you'll see the Gemini diesel engine you can't there. hardly miss that when you open it up so uh, but you don't have to do anything special with uh, cooling is that that's often a problem with aircraft engines getting enough cooling into the compartment is that going to be any special challenge just because it's diesel well I'm sure there are going to be de uh, challenges and stuff and we have to work out those details you know we're going to take plenum ducts off the inlets on the cowling and then we'll be ducting them directly into the radiator so sh they should really get some good airflow through there okay uh, the oil currents, cooler insulations are the same insulation that we use on the Super Legend, so that was unchanged. And uh, you know, we have the engine mount that we uh, we put on there to mount the engine to the airframe. Do you have to change that uh, substantially, or? Well, a little bit. I mean, it's a uh, you know it uses the same isolators that we use on the Lyco Lycoming, the O233, okay. so uh, it has that same feature on it. But uh, you know, it's just a. Uh, Real simple engine mount design. We'll have to go out and do the testing on it, torque testing and stuff. All right. Well, with testing in mind, Scott, what what kind of? I know you're guessing into the future here, and folks uh, take this sort of with a grain of salt. But what do you think is the schedule before somebody could go? I want diesel. We hope to have this on the front of an airplane, uh, uh, this particular airplane running uh, in the October time frame. Okay. Assuming all the stars. Just a few line months up. then. Okay. And then uh, we hope downstream to go through the ASTM process. Hopefully that'll go quickly. And uh, you know, I can't give you a firm date on when that would be, but we'd love to be able to be in the say mid. Uh, 16 time hole. Okay, so maybe here at Oshkosh next year we could be seeing this fly. Well, we think you'll be seeing it flying before that. Yeah, right. But as far as available for purchase, we're a little further out. Sure, well, that makes sense, of course. So you'll probably get it, you could get it in the air maybe even this year then. Huh? We did in the air, but you know, know, we, have the, yeah, we have to go through the experimental. Yeah, we have to go through the Okay. And what we can't wait is to have this thing and the, the Jet A truck pull up to it and be put. <laughs> the jet A Somebody's going to go, no, don't do that, yes, don't do that. Stop. <laughs> yeah. So we're thinking about painting the airplane green. It's a green stripe on it. <laughs> well, you've done a lot of different creative things there at American Legend. How is the engine going to perform for you, do you expect, Darren? Based on what you already know from Superior, what do you think? Well, the engine tests Same as before. Well, the run what? tests are the engine's a very smooth running engine. I mean, there's no vibration at all. It's very smooth. Is that boxer technology yeah. helping. So it's uh, you know, we're very impressed with that. So I expect it, and you know, it should have a high torque value on it. So it that's, should well, be a, that's what diesels are known for, right? So, high torque. And that's what we want in Cubs. So we want a lot of torque. Get that thing so up we, there, right? So we can point the nose up as hard as we can and go. <laughs> and uh, so uh, we're very excited. And, you know the. The big assignment that I see is the uh, the overseas markets because of the higher low lift problems and, and you know a lot of our sales. Even auto gas is a challenge yeah. in many countries to it have is. it be good auto gas anyway. But that's correct. So we see a great opportunity in the overseas markets and 
you know, we uh, we have a big market in Australia, and and, uh, and we're developing a market over in China, and we're developing a market down in Brazil and all over the place. And and uh, those places, uh, you know, they're going to embrace diesel. They're going to embrace diesel. And I mean, you guys know you're going to sell some diesel engines around the country uh, to other brands too, of course. But American Legend is going to give you a nice shot because the popularity of little ta little tail draggers like this. It just seems unstoppable. Yeah. You're having another pretty good year, aren't you? We're having a great year this year, and uh, we're just going as hard as we can go. Well, you're doing a lot of different things, and very interesting. Scott, if you would, give us a few specs and information about the engine for those that maybe didn't watch our earlier video so they can know more about it. Okay, well, this is a horizontally opposed three-cylinder. The pistons actually come together in the, the uh, cylinders themselves, one, two, and three. And the compression actually makes combustion. So it's a very smooth running engine. Uh, it's a really compact form. Yeah, it's very feature. small. That was one of the things that Darren thought was going to be great because he wouldn't have to put like bubbles on the side of the cowlings. He could use his regular cowling. And as you can see, one of the things we're going to have to do it is looks like you got plenty of room. How, how to, to to make sure we get the air where it needs to. Right. So we're in great shape there. When we were installing, you can see we had a great place for the the, the dry sump uh, oil. You know, just stuck right back there, right in a neat place. So everything's going to be really compact, and it's not going to look like something odd. It's going to look like a cup. But it's going to sound a little different, I'm guessing. It's going to sound a little different. Yeah, this thing does have a, a supercharger, and the supercharger does have a whine to it that's a little different. So it almost has a turbine sound to it. Cool. So the FAA is going to be looking and going, you put a turbine in that thing, that's not allowed. <laughs> well, not quite, Mr. FAA. It's not very loud, but it does have a distinct note to it. There will be some pilots that will notice that. Some people are very sharp that way. So I had a picture of the airplane earlier on my website with the wrap around it. Didn't quite show uh, the superior name and uh, went, you, what do you I think this you is? <laughs> now we know what it is. So yeah, the logo right there. Well, yeah, but it was all covered up yeah, last yeah. night, so nobody really knew. So it's a very exciting to see you come out with the installation on an airplane. But you can see just how nice and neat the radiator fit in. Yeah. I mean, it really is a, a neat installation. And Darren's correct. I mean, it might be that this has got to move this way or that way a little bit. And it's a development project, set. folks, so keep that in mind. But, uh, well, uh, some great information. We want to congratulate both American Legend and Superior Airport on putting this together and doing this swiftly. You only introduced the engine down at Sun and Fun just three months ago, and now you've already got it on an airplane for people to come here and see. That's great stuff. Where do we get more information first about American Legend, Aaron? Uh, well, you can contact us through our website, and it's uh, legend.arrow. Legend.arrow, and how yeah. about more about the Gemini engine, but also all the other stuff that Superior does? SuperiorAirparts.com. And do you have a separate one for a separate web address for the Gemini? We do. Gemini.diesel.arrow is, is the one specific for this. Okay, great. So a lot of good information there. Go get more. You can find lots of things about both the American Legend, about Superior, and much in the affordable aircraft space at bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Scott Hayes, Darren Hart, and myself here at AirVenture.